Hello friends, we are continuing from the previous lecture on theories of interest and here we are going to discuss ISLM curve model propounded by Hicks Hansen. So this is also known as Hicks Hansen synthesis. Hicks Hansen they brought a synthesis between classical theory of interest and Keynes theory of rate of interest. So what Hicks and Hansen done was to bring synthesis to mix the classical theory of interest and Keynes theory of rate of interest. IS curve that is income saving curve this is derived by using classical theory of interest and IS curve is drawn from various income levels. So various income levels are assumed based on that IS curve is drawn and IS curve means income saving curve and this is taken from classical theory and LM curve that is liquidity money stock curve it is derived from Keynes theory. So LM curve is drawn from a family of liquidity preference curves corresponding to various income levels. So money supply, money stock is taken into consideration, liquidity preference is taken into consideration and that corresponds, corresponds to various income levels. So what is common in both? The common is income levels. So here based on income levels, the IS curve is drawn. Here based on income levels, the LM curve is drawn. Let us see how these curves are drawn. And we also should remember the interaction of these two curves, IS curve and LM curve that determines rate of interest depending upon income levels. So first we start with IS curve derivation. How do we derive IS curve? With increase in income, saving curve will shift to right. So this is original saving curve. Saving investment curve. This is original curve. SY S1, Y1. When income increases, then this curve shifts from S1, Y1 to S2, Y2. If income increases further, then this shifts to S3, Y3. So there is shift in this curve because of increase in income. If increase in income does not take place rather decrease in income takes place then these curve will start shifting towards this axis and what will be the result so whenever there is an increase in income this curve shifts to right and rate of interest will fall so originally this was rate of interest when the income saving level was s1 y1 when it shifted to right side, the rate of interest fallen to R2. When it shifted further, then rate of interest declined to R3. Now, based on this, we can draw this curve, IS curve. So, corresponding to this, we have taken this. So, we have extended this to this. We have extended this to this extended this to this and we have drawn this IS curve. So in the second part based on level of income and interest the IS curve is derived. Now after derivation of IS curve we cannot derive we can now derive LM curve. So derivation of LM curve with increase in income, liquidity preference curve shifts outward. So when 
इनकम इंक्रीजेस ओरिजिनली दिस इज द एल पी कर सो वेन इनकम इंक्रीजेस देन दिस कर मूव आउटवर्ड ऑन राइट साइड सो देर इज न्यू कर इंस्टेड ऑफ एल वाई टू द न्यू कर विज एल वाई वन सो दिस इंक्रीजेस रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सो विद इंक्रीज इनकम एल पी कर शिफ्ट आउटवर्ड ड्यू टू विच रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इंक्रीजेस बिकॉज सप्लाई इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो दिस इज अ सप्लाई देर इज इंक्रीज इन इनकम एंड पीपल वॉन्ट टू हैव लिक्विडिटी हेंस रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इंक्रीजेस based on income level the lm curve is drawn so based on this we draw this curve so this is corresponding to this again this is corresponding to this so this is corresponding to this so we draw lm curve lm curve shows that with the higher income demand for money is higher hence rate of interest is higher so when demand for money increases the rate of interest also increases so here we have positive relationship in the previous case it was negative relationship now there will be synthesis for the purpose of equilibrium so intersection of is and lm curve so lm and is curves relate to income levels and rate of interest lmis determines equilibrium of rate of interest so we have seen that lm curve and is curve they relate to income when income level changes so these curves shift from one place to another and they impact rate of interest this is point e in this graph so at point in this graph there is equilibrium so this is is curve and this is lm curve there is intersection hence r2 is the rate of interest for equilibrium purpose and y2 is the income so it determines the income level and rate of interest level at this stage the rate of interest is r2 and income is y2 here investment and savings are at equilibrium and demand and supply of money are equal if there is a change in income level then that will affect is curve or lm curve or both and in that case the equilibrium will shift so in that case rate of interest will also shift now let us see what we have been able to learn payment for use of money is a element of interest payment for use of money is a pure element of interest interest is different for different loans because of because of risk involved because of trouble involved in lending demand for money and supply of money determined rate of interest as per so it determines rate of interest as per, as per keynes theory keynes theory of interest is known as liquidity preference theory as per assumption of keynes theory people invest in two types of assets these are number 1 cash balance or balance in current accounts and number 2 investment in bonds as per keynes theory if nominal level of income is more money would be held so when nominal income level is more then people will hold more money so more money will be held as per keynes higher the nominal rate of interest the demand for money for speculative purpose so if rate of interest higher if nominal rate of interest is higher then demand for money for speculative purpose will be less because people will investment we make investment in bonds as per keynes theory if interest rates are higher the people will hold asset in the form of 
in the form of bonds. Demand for money is related to rate of interest. Demand for money is So demand for money is inversely related to rate of interest. If rate of interest increases, demand for money decreases. Supply of money is determined by the monetary authority. If money supply is fixed and demand for money increases, the rate of interest will, so it will increase. If money supply is increased, the rate of interest will so the rate of interest will decrease. ISLM curve model is also called Hicks Hansen synthesis. IS income saving curve is derived from Keynes theory. No, this is wrong statement. It is derived from classical theory. LM liquidity money stock curve is derived from Keynes theory. Yes, this is a correct statement. As per ISLM model, interaction of curves determine rate of interest and income level. So, interaction of IS curve and LM curve, it determines rate of interest and income level. Well friends, this completes our discussion on interest rates or theories of interest. Thank you.